Live. I'm your host, Ileana Capellan. We've got a great show ahead of us, so let's get straight to it. Studio 17 Live is presented by Dignity Health, Mercy, and Memorial Hospitals. Joining us today is David Villarino Gonzalez, President and CEO of Farm Workers Institute of Education and Leadership Development. David, thank you so much for joining us today. You're very welcome, Eliana. Now, I really appreciate you being here today, but also tell me what the acronym is for your uh, organization. Um, the acronym FIELD stands for Farm Workers Institute of Education and Leadership Development. Tell me a little bit about FIELD. FIELD was founded in 1978 by uh, the civil rights labor leader Cesar Chavez. It was part of the farm workers movement. So the farm workers founded the education and leadership development program. Wow. Uh, the idea originally was to strengthen rural communities by uh, leveraging the training that people have learned to move into other aspects in agriculture. But it's sent, we've grown tremendously since then. And this is such an important program. So tell me more about your EPIC, the Cesar Chavez High School program. EPIC, the Cesar Chavez, uh, the acronym is Escuela Popular Instituto Capes. Oh, Epic, okay, okay. Cesar Chavez. And uh, it's a high school charter school for adults. It's accredited. We have credential teachers. Um, we are fully comprehensive and we get full apportionment from the state. Uh, we enroll about a thousand people, wow. farm workers most notably, but also recent immigrants, um, non Hispanic whites, African Americans, anybody f most notably from rural communities or immigrant communities. And uh, we get them in and we graduate them. And to this day, we're just overwhelmed at how successful the program has been. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's the idea about EPIC. And you guys just recently had a graduation, right? How many graduates and or ceremonies did you have? We've had six. And wow. they're up and down the state. We have a graduation on Friday in Salinas. We had one last night in Palmdale. We had another one in Merced. We have one up by Sacramento. We had one in Riverside. We had one in Coachella Valley. Uh, so we're all, those are all the areas we're located. Um, we're graduating about uh, 400 people a year. Wow. In total now, we've graduated over close to 1,200 people with diplomas. And they've either gone into colleges or they've gone into training. So we're, we're very excited. That's amazing, and I, I can imagine how important that is, especially here in our community. Well, I got to tell you, I'm here to tell you. Um, there's two things happening right now that are so critical for what we do uh, to help resolve. One is that, you know, there's a replacement workforce issue. All the people that own things, that manage things, that invent things, uh, those are baby boomers most notably non-Hispanic whites, mm -hmm. and they're retiring. They have been retiring the last 20 years. The replacement workforce is Hispanic, yeah. but they're dropping out at, at, at uh, a 50% rate. So what we decided to do was to leverage uh, the image and likeness of Caesar to um, inspire people, adults, to come in so that they could learn and they could help their children. And I don't think a lot of people are realizing that these dropout rates aren't just because they don't want to finish high school. They have to go and work. Eliana, you're so right. Because they either have to help their parents because they're sick or they've got some other issues. They just, you know, the culture, they yeah. got to get back in and help. My goodness. Now, what are some highlights that you would like to mention about the students and or teachers that have recently? You know, we've had probably about 10 to 15 percent who go into community colleges and go in to get our degrees. We had two of our t two of our our students become teachers assistants with us, and went into college to get their teaching degrees. And this year they got their credentials. And guess who they're going to work with? They're coming right back. So we're so that was a, those were two big ones. Those were in Riverside. Um, we've also started uh, a recycling program here in Kern County with our graduates and we're going to, we now have businesses that we own that they are going to operate as a worker-owned cooperative. Um, so that's our recycling businesses called um, uh, Solar Field and uh, Solar Recycling. So those are the big ones we're going into. Well, thank you so much. And you have all that information there. For more information, you guys can go to farmworkersinstitute.org or you can call them at 661-822-4388.
1-800-227-8281. Thank you so much Thank for being here and continuing on the legacy of Cesar Chavez and Si Se Puede. Andale. Muchísimas gracias. Bye-bye.